The subject verb agreement is the correspondence of a verb with its subject in person. First, second, or third. And number, singular or plural. Have a look at the example over here. Liz is an accountant and she has a typical 8 to 5 job. Note that the verb is corresponds with the subject Liz, which is in the first person and singular. And the verb has corresponds with the pronoun she, which is in the third person and singular. Remember that subjects and verbs must agree with one another in person, first, second, or third. Have a look at the table below and note the subject verb agreement rules of the verb to be in the present tense. In the first person, singular, I am, plural, we are. Second person, singular, you are, plural, you are. Third person, singular, he, she, it is, plural, they are. Have a look at the example over here. I am a student, first person. My brother is a pupil, third person, brother. And you are a teacher, second person, you are. Note that subjects and verbs must agree with one another in number, singular or plural. Thus, if a subject is singular, its verb must also be singular. And if a subject is plural, its verb must also be plural. Have a look at the example below. She cooks dinner and her brothers make breakfast. The verb make corresponds with the noun brothers, which is plural. And the verb cooks corresponds with she, which is singular. And when the subject of the sentence is composed of two or more nouns or pronouns connected by the conjunction and, make sure to use a plural verb. For example, brothers and sisters don't often get along. Brothers and sisters are connected by the conjunction and. And so we use the plural form of the verb do and get. Don't get. Note that the words each, each one, either, neither, everyone, everybody, anyone, anybody, nobody, somebody, someone, and no one are singular. And so you must use a singular verb. Have a look at the following examples. Each of these suggestions is interesting. Someone was standing at the door. Also note that when two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or or nor, make sure to use a singular verb. Have a look at the example below. Either your mother or dad needs to contact me. Remember that when a compound subject contains both a singular and a plural noun or pronoun joined by or or nor, the verb should agree with the part of the subject that is closer to the verb. And that is also called the rule of proximity. Have a look at the examples below. The teacher or the students write homework on the board. Note how the teacher is singular, but the students is plural.
And so the verb write needs to be in its plural form. Second example, the students or the teacher writes homework on the board. Again, note how the teacher is in its singular form and students is in a plural form. The verb write is in its singular form because the subject that is closer to the verb is singular. Also remember that in sentences beginning with there is or there are, the subject follows the verb and that is also called the inverted subject. As there is not the subject, the verb agrees with what follows. For instance, in this example, we have there is a book on the table. There is not the subject, book is. So the verb must agree with what is followed, book. There are books on the table. Again, R agrees with the subject books, which is in its plural form. Also note that the subject verb agreement with words that indicate portion. For example, a lot, a majority, some, all. Now, if the noun after of is singular, make sure to use a singular verb. And if it is plural, use a plural verb. Have a look at the following examples. There is a lot of fuss around his arrival. The verb is must agree with the subject fuss, which is in its singular form. And in this sentence, there are a lot of people in the room. The subject people is in its plural form. And so the verb needs to be in its plural form as well. Also note that we use a singular verb with distance, periods of time, sums of money, etc. when considered as a unit. Have a look at the following examples. $10 is a high price to pay for socks. Note that $10 in this sentence is considered as a unit. And in this sentence, $10, in other words, dollar bills were scattered on the floor. $10 is not considered as a unit. Also remember that collective nouns are words that imply more than one person but are considered singular. And take a singular verb, for example, family, group, team, committee, class, etc. Have a look at the sentence over here. My family is very big. Note that the word family is a collective noun. It implies more than one person, but is considered singular. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember that we use a plural verb when the subject of the sentence is composed of two or more nouns or pronouns connected by end. Read the following sentence and fill in the blank using the appropriate form of the verb. John and Carol to work together at the coffee shop. John and Carol work together at the coffee shop. Also note that the words each, each one, either, neither, everyone, everybody, anyone, anybody, nobody, somebody, someone, and no one are singular and require a singular verb. Now have a look at the following sentence and fill in the blank using the appropriate form of the verb. No one to want to work 16 hours a day. No one wants to work 16 hours a day. 
Remember that when a compound subject contains both a singular and a plural noun or pronoun joined by or or nor, the verb should agree with the part of the subject that is closer to the verb, which is also known as the rule of proximity. Now have a look at the following sentences and fill in the blanks using the appropriate form of the verbs. My sister or my parents to give me a ride home. My sister or my parents give me a ride home. My parents or my sister to give me a ride home. My parents or my sister gives me a ride home. Note the subject verb agreement with words that indicate portions, for example, a lot, majority, some, all. If the noun after of is singular, use a singular verb. And if the noun after of is plural, make sure you use a plural verb. Now have a look at the following sentence and fill in the blank using the appropriate form of the verb. There to be a lot of people waiting in line. There are a lot of people waiting in line. Also note that collective nouns are words that imply more than one person but are considered singular and take a singular verb. For example, family, group, team, committee, class, etc. Have a look at the sentence below and fill in the blank using the appropriate form of the verb. The team to lose a lot of games this year. The team has lost a lot of games this year. Here is a short story using the correct subject verb agreement. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. Now after I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. There are a lot of people outside. Do you know what's going on? These people are protesting. Maybe you've heard the recent news that some company wants to build a huge factory right over there? And surely no one is happy about that. But I didn't see any media around. I'm sure that some reporters will come in a bit. It's not like there are a couple of people, so it's difficult to ignore this. Now time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and underline the correct word. A. The aim of the research was or were to find life of Mars. B. The group meet or meets every other week. C. My cousins and my brother don't or doesn't know how to cook. D. Nobody master or masters a language without making mistakes. E. Neither Sarah nor I am or are going to college this year. F. I, as well as my friends, am or are excited about the upcoming trip to Vegas. G. The jury has or have finally reached a decision. H. 10 kilometers is or are too far to walk. 
I. This or these jeans is or are too revealing. J. A car and a bike is or are my means of transportation. Now let's check your answers. The aim of the research was to find life of Mars. The group meets every other week. My cousins and my brother don't know how to cook. Nobody masters a language without making mistakes. Neither Sarah nor I am going to college this year. I, as well as my friends, am excited about the upcoming trip to Vegas. The jury has finally reached a decision. 10 kilometers is too far to walk. These jeans are too revealing. A car and a bike are my means of transportation. Thank you for watching this tutorial.